Hello everyone, my name is Robot and today we're going to do a game in Diamond 2 against uh, LeBlanc on mid lane. I'm at around 80 LP and this sound really kills me. Now, let's go through here. Why? This is a pointless invade because my teammates AFK. But however, I'm playing the game with Comet mana flow band, absolute focus scorch, perfect timing, biscuit delivery and 8 magic resist. I'm having a ring and 2 pots and obviously the stoppage from the runes. And and I am against Leblanc on mid lane and she also has some Ramos which can flash on top of me and Ramos can do some easy ganks on top and mid so we gotta play safe. I don't really expect Ramos to be much on bot lane because it's quite hard to catch them if well they have a brand so they're probably going to be the one pushing. Now the trick is against the Leblanc, yes I will push because I know I have the push power and I want to force that W on creeps. And not on. Uh, there you go. And that's what that was a pretty good trade actually. Oops, got it. But it's not a good trade if I have ring and she has that. Okay, that's an interesting one. Now, if she is on me now, which is totally expected expected that was a free trade and I'm gonna keep spamming these spells I need, I need, I need to push I need to push as much as I can here Yeah, I would have loved to actually get help here. I want. So yeah, I got I get another ring here and healing potion. They kind of cornered me. I knew I had no choice in escaping that, but at least uh, Kindred has sort of an advantage over that Ramos with the Olaf gank or such. Normally, normally we should have won to versus two that because I did a marvelous setup. But I really need here to push quick because she has the mark, and I need to I need to be around for the mark to help her. Okay. Ah, never mind. Never mind. Ramos went straight for that. He knew what he has to take. He knew where he had to go. Am I getting ganked here? Yes. But because we have full words. Well. I can't believe he actually. I'm safe, I'm safe, I can't believe I actually used that. And... <laughs> he didn't see a single word. <laughs> oh my god, he used it right between the words. That's hilarious. That's sad for him. Okay. That's a chain on me. Mm, I would love a counter gang though. Because I'll just get... Locked by Ramos here. As he sees, as you can see, he who wins this. I think. Looks like Olaf is winning. Yeah, let's do 
three ganks on top so that Olaf still wins. Hmm. This looks like a good Iberom, good opportunity to roam bot. Because this just ended. Okay, oh my god. Well, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, good. My blanks here just casually farming, doing literally nothing. So, we're actually pretty good. I mean, Jinx got the kill, but Trash got caught there. Stunt himself quite a lot with that hook. Mm, I do have a feeling that Kindred will scale much better than Ramus. And because she farmed now, she actually recalls and gets quite a chunk of item, not just a. You know. And judging by the quality of the gang that I did and the fact that Trash missed, missed literally everything, I say we're quite fine for now. I need to actually work it again. Why are you eating so much? Jesus. And now I'm very susceptible to gangs. Oops. The good thing is that I cannot die here at least. I need to get. Oh, come on! Why do I have two lanes that are bad? And next time LeBlanc comes on me, I might die because. Uh, that, that was a weird phrasing. I might die because even though I have flash, she has flash too and she can just double. Nah, it's fine. Now I'm safe. I don't have priority though. Okay. There's a Leblanc. And there's literally nothing I can do to counter that. I can hit this tower. But yeah, Ramos can kill me here. Ramos can actually kill me. I cannot I cannot keep hitting that. If he comes, I'll just die. Plus LeBlanc is back, so I'm just gonna recall here. And the 2-0. 0 LeBlanc she has no words here, that's good. I have no money for this yet, but I really don't want to bother with mm. I just need, we just need to scale a bit, because Jinx, both Jinx and uh, Kindred and even Irela scale much more better than their counterparts in late late game, and LeBlanc, unless she one shots people, she's not that useful, and it's not easy to one shot all the time people with LeBlanc, I mean. I didn't spawn yet. Marvelous. Double kill, no, kill for uh, just a kill for uh, we really in the kill for the other. Oh, that was a very good flash because I didn't throw it on anyone else. Holy mother of good flash. That was an amazing flash. I also had time to recall. And here I should probably go for the magic resist boots against their comp. But I really want to have the cooldown reduction for flashes for more 
and as you can see it gives summoner spell reduction we're gonna die there better suicide in the tower that's a very bad spot to recall for trash but if he leaves well yeah, and there was no way he was going to survive that And now I actually want to go bot and stop them from taking that sour. I mean, there is a level of safety here, right? Okay, she's safe. Need to go back to mid. I just I just walk around these <laughs> zones. Uh, yeah. Okay, and I don't miss a single sis, that was beautiful. Mm, I want to push here, push it into tower. Damn it. And of course I'm dying since I cannot play against someone who has 3 kills over me from different sources. Uh, that sucks. The fact that she's 4-1 bothers me because Trash could have just gone here instead of here and died to the tower and maybe in that case she wouldn't have so much gold over me. Nah, I'm going bot, I'm going bot. I can get my way more here. Because they'll, they'll probably want to dive. Yeah. It's fine. Very, very fine. Save the tower, save the day. Get this. Ah, oh, never mind. She's there. Just, just get this. Get this. Get this. Get this. That LeBlanc has four kills and does nothing with them. It's hilarious. She's so useless. I won't get, get any items. I actually did the marvelous fight there. Save the tower. Got Jinx two kills, not one. Basically, I put my ass on the line for that, and that sounds wrong. Again, I'm good at things that sound wrong. And what did she get? Two plates for her own personal gain and not gain of the team? That's not worth, buddy. That's not worth. Hmm. Please don't die to the LeBlanc. I get this sweet blue buff here. And this mm, move here, put this down. Okay, how about twins? Because of the stupid advantage that we gave to that. Uh, now, if this LeBlanc would be actually good. Yes, she beats me. I can't do anything to her. But if she would actually be good, she would roam. I don't go back, go back, go back. I mean, she beats me, but what's the point? If my team gets advantage on every side of the map, on other sides. Okay, finish Ludens. Oops. And they actually 
actually win bot, so why care so much? Uh, LeBlanc is just just walking around and this guy doesn't care. Apparently, if the LeBlanc is the only one that's fed, there's nothing they can do. And look, look at the advantage that we gave on the on the Jinx. From the first minute, just just gave kills too. Okay, that's a bit too deep. Too deep, man. Too deep. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. As I said, kills on that guy. that relevant. I'm gonna get this because I don't want Ramos to have extra gold. Okay. And even though I'm 1-4 and even though I died that LeBlanc it doesn't really matter if the other the whole team in rest tries. Um and the funny thing is that the item difference is just an oblivion orb currently not that much to to think about you will just eat here if you're not careful hmm. two versus two no 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 careful die before I can do anything look what's happening here <laughs> <laughs> the goal worked. Dodge. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay, still good. Whole gold goes to Brand. To their support, not to their Draven, to their Brand. Think about that. Not to their top laner who really needs gold right now. Not to anyone else, I just did my job there, I just had to keep them around. So that plan worked because look, we are already one foot into their base. It's understandable that you're going to into LeBlanc if she has 5 kills, but if that happens because you roamed a lot and because you helped your team a lot, it's okay. It's really okay. Giving kills to the guy who scale compared to the LeBlanc that we all know doesn't really scale. And I don't want to get close to that. Okay. I'm the sacrifice lamp again. Do we care? Not really. Hmm. Okay. So Talia dies, but gets four assists, and everyone else wins. I don't know. Olaf throws them very hard at this point, and uh, we won. So <laughs> that was an interesting game. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was a game in which I did not carry by any way in mid lane, but I think I actually helped them a lot on the side lanes. Uh, that mattered because look, 9-1 Jinx ate to Kindred. Kindred and Jinx just scaled off me because LeBlanc, the only one who had kills in their team, was not there, so they had time to actually, you know, go around the map. So things go like this LeBlanc and Ramos gank me. LeBlanc gets the kill, LeBlanc gets the win on the mid lane. But because Kindred got kills on other lanes by ganks like that, and she focused on continuing destroying those lanes, 
we actually won. I didn't do much on mid lane, I didn't do anything on mid lane. I'm so far from the camera, I just realized. But on the other sides of the map, I actually won. So that was an interesting game to think about, and I really hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.